it's me Sydney and welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be talking about long-distance relationships in college and originally I was planning on actually filming this with my boyfriend because we do long distance but then I was like you know what if you guys want a Q&A specifically with him leave all your questions down below I'll do a boyfriend Q&A um, but I figured you know what I'm gonna be really blunt and honest with you guys in this video and I don't want to hurt his feelings even though, Tim, I know you're probably watching this, and you're probably like, Sydney, I wanted to film this with you. I wanted to film it with him too, you guys. But then I figured a Q&A would be, like, way better to film with him. Anyways, so, if you guys want to do that, leave your questions down below. We will literally talk to you about anything. But with that being said, I'm going to give you some background first, and then hopefully give you some tips if you're doing long distance, but then also talk to you about the harsh realities, because I'm very blunt and honest and i'm just gonna like lay it all out on the line okay so first thing background i am an arizona state university student i go to asu i'm a freshman well i just finished my freshman year and i went into freshman year without a significant other i had one during the summer that i had met through the app uh the school's app we met like back in like october you guys like way back and we talked up until summer so that was like a pretty long time and he like came out here he used to live in like Hawaii so you know if that tells you something like when I would see him it was like really great but like we weren't we had met through ASU schools app those things usually do not work out and last just because college like going into it like people are wild you want to be wild you want to have fun and I highly suggest that you do not go into college with a significant other that you have just started a relationship with unless you're like both madly in love like if you have something in the back of your head that's literally like i need to be single or i want to be single or you're like flirting with other people just like get rid of that person because if you guys are meant to be you'll come back for each other which usually you don't come back for each other but like if you're meant to be then that happens then you don't have to worry about them cheating on you you cheating on them anything like that and i just i don't know i'm gonna be really blunt and honest in this video like I'm going to be the first person to say that when you go to college, you're going to be tempted. ASU is literally filled with attractive people, you guys. I literally, not even kidding you. So before we get into the whole like me getting a boyfriend and then doing long distance in college and how that works, I'm going to tell you guys right now. The first month of college was crazy. There was literally a dick everywhere. You like turn one way and you're like, holy shit, this guy wants to hook up with me. And then you're like, holy shit, this guy wants to, this guy wants to, this guy wants to, this guy wants to. And it's because everyone finally has freedom. They live in the dorms, they can party, they can do whatever they want. And they forget that after they hook up, they see them around. But no one thinks about the after effect and no one ever thinks about like one person usually catches feelings. And for me, I went in single didn't want a boyfriend because I'm very like independent my needs were getting met at that point and I was enjoying just being with my friends in college and then like for like fall break or something like that I met the guy that I'm dating now and I met a girl through college she knocked on my door asking me for alcohol okay we were like literally like and I don't have I didn't have alcohol so I was like yo you want to go to this double date movie with me but it wasn't really a double date it was just like two people that i had like one guy liked me and then this other guy was just going and i was like shit i need someone else to go because like it's gonna be really awkward because this guy likes me and she went with me so i met this girl originally like the first month of school like first two weeks probably like maybe two weeks after the first two or whatever but we met and then fall break came around or some some type of break yeah i think it might have been fall Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't really remember. But I went down to see her family and then I ended up meeting him, which is her boyfriend's best friend. So it was like literally we were already like kind of hanging out and then we were like just going to be no strings attached because like I said before, you're just, you're in college. You want to have fun. And this is where the advice kind of comes in, but I'm trying to give you guys some background. Um, and this is probably going to be unedited, you guys. But basically <laughs> he and I met through mutual friends and they were dating so then we were like paired up together when we were hanging out and that was fun but then we realized we really liked each other like I left California because that's where she lives and I was still thinking about him we were still talking and it was just like really starting to come together nicely but I was like shit like I'm in college I live in Arizona and he lives in California like even though it's a six hour drive that's still a six hour drive like if you want any action if you want to do anything if you want to cuddle you know you have to facetime like it's not 
instant gratification because it's long distance. So I really thought about it and then I was like, you know what? I really like him. And I ended up, before we became exclusive, when we were just talking, I did sleep with someone else. And during the whole time, I was like, oh my gosh, like I really like this guy. Like the entire time, all I could think of was Tim. And Tim's the guy that I'm dating right now. And all I could do was think of Tim. And like, the, I was like, I don't like this guy that I'm like, you know, doing stuff with right now. All I could think of was Tim. And it was like so crazy because I was just like, I was like, wow, I really like this guy. And like for me to tell the YouTube this stuff, like you guys are probably like, this is TMI, but this is kind of how it happened and how I realized. When you get to college though, you want to weigh the pros and the cons and you want to be like, okay, do I want to go and have fun? Do I just want to have one night stands? Do I want to, you know, be able to party and not have to text this person that I'm dating and say like, hey, like I am going out and then have them freak out on you for like 20 minutes straight. Like depending on like what you want, out of your college experience you have to debate like what am I gonna deal with what do I want it do I want to have to talk to this person every night because Tim and I talk every night and one of the biggest things that comes with long distance is communication so going back to the whole Tim and I thing and long distance relationships um this is how we make it work because he lives in California and he has a job where he gets weekends off but he's also going to he's gonna start school pretty soon he'll still have weekends off and then I have um late classes on Monday and then I have Fridays off so if you're someone that's trying to make a long distance relationship work and you are very like you want to see them as often as you possibly can this is how I make it work with Tim and this is how we made it work because we dated while I was in school four months three months like we made it at least like a little bit you know we made it for a whole semester and that's about three and a half months so that's how long we made it which was a whole semester, which was super awesome. And then we're gonna be doing another year like that and then another year and another year. But we have summers together. So basically how we did it was he would come every other weekend to see me and he would drive from California to me. He has a friend that would drive with him because my friend and his friend are dating as well. So if you have someone like you're one of your friends that's dating someone else and you guys are both going to the same college and like the guys or like vice versa are in the same area and they can drive together and like do a little road trip that's a really good option for long distance but when it comes down to it when you don't see each other like and then i would make it work by like seeing him randomly like i i saw him last weekend and now i'm seeing him again this week and now it's summer so i'm gonna be with him a lot but like you take the opportunities you can when it refers to like budget because if you don't have a lot of money like i have a friend named josh he literally He's been dating this girl for a very long time and they're really cute together, but they've only seen each other twice since he's been at ASU, which is crazy because like, that's really hard. So if your budget doesn't let you do that, like one of the big things with long distance is like, you are gonna get needy. You are gonna probably have some trust issues along the way. And it's not because you don't trust the person, it's because you are seeing what other people are doing and it's making you have thoughts and you're probably like oh I wonder if he's doing that too like I'm someone who I because I see Tim so often it's not as bad for me but I have friends that like obviously they have issues and one of the biggest things is communication if you guys can agree on talking every night or almost every night texting and stuff then you guys are gonna go a lot further but you also have to remember this is college this is an experience for you and you don't want to just waste it. You don't want to just sit around. If you're trying to be social, if you're trying to feel like you're not on a leash, um, not that you should feel like you're on a leash when you're in a relationship, but a lot of the times what ends up happening is you feel kind of not suffocated because that's not the right word, but I'm trying to think of the best way to explain it without offending anyone because when you're in a relationship, like I'm in a relationship, I know how this is, but like the best way to explain it is like you have a monkey backpack. You're basically on a monkey backpack. Like Tim and I have this joke all the time where we talk about the monkey backpack because you're dating someone and what you really want is to be able to talk to them all the time. You want their attention. You, If you can't be there in person, like you're kind of, you just, you know, you just have those moments where like you're not... I'm, the best way to explain it is like you want the most attention that they can give to you with the circumstances and you have to be okay with the fact that you might spend two hours every single night talking to that person because you don't ever see them in person right now you're doing long distance you only see them on breaks and summers and stuff and 
if you're not like if you don't have someone that's willing to drive every other weekend to see you like clearly that's not what everyone can do if you're both in college and you're both on like a college budget tim works he can pay for his gas he can literally you know he can do whatever so that's like the difference but if you're both in college like there's a very different dynamic that comes with that like you are not making a lot of money you can't do that and so that's kind of that's kind of like one of the big big things is communication and the way that Tim and I made it work was just we would talk and like we make it a point like we kind of we talk like he works until 2 30 so I know up until 2 30 like the texts are like sporadic but like after that he usually I'm busy up until like five or six and then after that we usually take like an hour or two to just text and then we talk before bed and then fall asleep on FaceTime and that's usually how it works and that's how I know a lot of couples have it work but when you're doing long distance think about it this way do you feel like you're missing out on something these are the questions I guess that you need to ask yourself do you feel like you're missing out on anything are you feeling like you're tied to you know this person that you can't have the fun that you want to have and that doesn't mean you have to go and sleep around with other people I'm just saying like Sometimes people are very controlling when you're dating them and they're like, I really don't want you to go out. I don't want you to drink. And you're like, I, I won't do anything, but you still respect them and you feel like you're missing out though. Like you have to ask yourselves those questions. You have to say like, is this in my best interest? Am I getting the full college experience? Am I doing what I want to do? Or am I just staying with this person? Cause I'm scared. I'm not going to find someone else because the best way I can put it is if you feel like this person is your soulmate, you're meant to be, it has to work. They have to be able to trust you. If they can't trust you when you're in college, how are they gonna trust you when you wanna go out with your girlfriends and just go out and have fun when you're 30 or whatever? Like you have to make sure the relationship works in that aspect. So one of my biggest tips is if they can't trust you when you're in college going out with your friends and they're just constantly saying like, don't go out ever, like don't do that, I would probably leave the relationship if I were you. But at the same time, if you are not really wanting to go out, you just want, you just really like this person, like I am, um, I had my little fun for the first month and then I was like totally fine after that. So just one of the big things is like when you make your relationships work in college, you have to think of like the little things to do for yourselves also. So this is something that I do for Tim. So I like, this is stuff that I know he probably doesn't even realize it. I mean, he, I know he gets it, but like I actually print photos. Like you can see here, I'm. I'm not super obsessed with printing photos for myself, but for him, like every photo that we've really ever taken, I print out for him and every time I see him, he gets them so he can put them on his wall. And that sounds really weird, but it's like the little sentimental gifts that matter. And I usually write on the back of it so that then they're like more meaningful. So you can do little things like that and nail them. Um, I send him letters, like cute little love letters when I just really miss him or like anything like that. And I see him like every 10 days. Like it's not like I go very long without seeing him. It's one of those things where you have to find the happy balance because you don't want to spend your whole life in your room talking to this person and never socializing. But you also want to maintain this relationship that you have taken so long to cultivate. Like if you've been with this person for so long and you genuinely want to stay with them, do it. Don't let anyone tell you not to, but at the same time, realize that if you go into college with a boyfriend, you are not going to have the same experience as everyone else. You will go into it. Um, you're probably going to regret having one. And even if you go on a break, this is something that I tell everyone. If you go on a break and you're still talking to them 24 seven, you guys can always get back together. But what you should do is if you feel like you want a break, go on it. Because if this person really loves you, they will let you. It might be hard. It might suck. You tell them how you feel and then they should understand because if you're going to be in college and you're experiencing something new and you really don't want to miss out, you shouldn't have to. So make sure that you are doing what's best for you and you're not missing out on things and it's benefiting you. So I really hope that this video comes across like I'm not saying you need to end every relationship because I don't want you guys to think that, but I do really think you should take some time in the beginning to just focus on yourself and focus on having some fun, getting the college experience so you're not stressing out over, you know, or regretting, you know, your senior year. You're like, I've been with this guy the entire time. And then you realize, wow, I wasted all that time and I really just wanted to 
and like obviously you're gonna have issues obviously there's gonna be times where you're gonna be like really annoyed because he might be out with his friends and hot tubbing or doing whatever and you're like why didn't you tell me there were girls there but you trust him you're just like annoyed that he didn't give you that information or he might be annoyed with you because you're like going out and getting ice cream with your guy friends but like they're not he doesn't not trust you it's just like the fact that you're not with each other and so like those things are gonna happen you just have to really go with the flow be okay with it and yeah I mean I feel like that's like the best advice I can give you at the exact moment I really hope this helps you out if you guys are going to ASU I have tons of ASU, ASU videos on my channel other than that, comment down below your questions for a boyfriend q and I'm going to do it with Tim next week or like in a couple days. I'm actually going there on Wednesday. So if you want to see that and you want to see it pretty soon, comment your questions below in this freaking video. I want to hear your questions, whatever it is. Literally, you can ask me like the most personal questions because we will answer them. Tim might get a little shy, but I'll still answer them. But with that being said, I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. I hope this helped you out. If it did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Also, my summer challenge starts today. Pre-sale is over. It is now $40 to join. If you want to join, do it now. It's going to be amazing. Everyone in it, there's 300 plus people in it. Um, the link will be down below. And yeah, so I love you guys so much. Let's get your body transfor transforming. And if you have any ASU questions or anything, I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye babes. <laughs>